Lord Draken is an evil alternate version of Tommy Oliver. He is a cruel, tyrannical, and irredeemably evil villain from the Boom Studios comics. He was such a popular introduction to the Power Rangers universe that the most recent Rangers video game, Battle for the Grid, was centred around his story. And, speaking personally, it was the Boom Studios comics and the Dragon storyline that really brought my passion back to Power Rangers over recent years. But enough of me complimenting the comics, let's cover the full history of Lord Draken. Get comfortable because this is a long and awesome story. So the early history of Lord Draken, or Tommy Oliver as he was still known as at this point, perfectly follows the same path as the main universe Tommy all the way up until the Evil Green Ranger's final battle with Jason, the original Red Ranger. In this pivotal event, Tommy was freed from Rita's curse, but instead of allying with Zordon and his rangers, he fled, wandering from city to city while evading pursuit from the Power Rangers. Tommy was eventually found by Rita, who told him stories and tales of a young man named Draken, in whom she saw potential and forged his legacy under her guidance. Tommy, who was intrigued by this, made the decision to leave with Rita and continued to serve her despite the spell being broken. As such a young man, this is something I definitely think is believable. These are the years of a person's life where their futures can be shaped, and they are often misled by the wrong mentor. A poor decision was clearly made by this Tommy, but at this point, he genuinely believed that Rita was attempting to better the world, despite the evil ways in which she was doing so. So, he aided her as the Green Ranger in taking over the Earth one city at a time. Later in their conquest, Tommy led Rita's forces into a huge final battle against Zordon's last battalion of rangers. Zordon had been on the verge of creating a new ranger, more powerful than any that had come before. Tommy breached the command center just as Jason was being fused with the powers, interrupting the process before it was finished. Jason and Tommy fought, and Tommy won. He took the power for himself and emerged from the command center holding Jason's red ranger helmet. So in this universe, if this battle had just occurred a little bit later, we would have seen Jason Lee Scott as the White Power Ranger. That could have been so cool. Anyway, Tommy and his forces then defeated the other rangers and destroyed their zords, successfully taking over Earth in Rita's name. However, immediately after the rangers were vanquished and Rita taught him her spells such as brainwashing, the sorceress, who was clearly too trusting of her subordinates, was met with an unforeseen outcome. Tommy had become so corrupted at this point that he sought to control the world by himself. While vowing to continue Rita's work, he killed her, thus removing her as a potential future obstacle, and he gained the loyalty of Finster, who he would later turn into a cyborg, Finster 5, using Alpha 5's body parts. Dark stuff. Now going by the name Lord Draken, Tommy drew on the power of the stolen power coins from the defeated rangers to power and create ranger sentries. The only coin he was missing was Billy's, as the surviving Trini had hidden it. The former surviving rangers, and others that were opposed to Draken's rule, had formed a resistance of sorts called the Coinless. And none other than Skull had actually infiltrated Draken's army undercover as a Tyrannosaurus sentry. After the deaths of Billy and her ex-boyfriend Matthew, Kimberly had gone on a quest for vengeance against Draken in an attempt to kill him herself but she ended up captured and brainwashed by Draken with a spell similar to the one that Rita had originally used on him. She then became the Ranger Slayer. We have recently released a full video on the Ranger Slayer. If you want to know more about her story, check that one out. After an ongoing war of sorts, Draken defeated the Coinless and captured his alternate self and Billy, these being the ones from the regular universe that we're all so familiar with. He had also captured his world's Trini, However, Billy and Trini collaborated a plan to use his alternate timeline's counterpart's power coin and created an energy burst that zapped both Draken and his ranger sentries by modifying the teleportation function. The energy blast released from the Morpher during this tactic broke Draken's power coin, leaving Draken in a brief state of shock and insecurity at the loss of all his power. He then tries to verbally attack his counterpart, speaking of how friendship is weakness and Tommy's friends will eventually fail him when he needs them the most. Tommy refuses to listen and battles Draken. After Tommy's friends find him, rather than face defeat, Draken jumps from a cliff to what Tommy believes to be his death. But of course Draken survives, and the energy of the portal returning the Power Rangers home tugs him into their universe with them, 
where he wakes up in a mountainous region somewhere and is captured by US soldiers of the US government. It's later revealed that Draken had been captured and held by Grace Sterling's Promethea. Here, he was kept in energy restraints and isolated from the outside world with armed guards outside at all times. That is, until he got an unexpected visit from one of the people who defeated him, Billy Cranston. Billy teleported inside out of curiosity to find out why the Promethea facility's power substation was only at half of its total output, and what there could require so much energy to maintain, only for him to come face to face with Draken. Draken then proceeds to taunt Billy, who declares that he is not afraid of him. Grace later on revealed that she had captured the rogue former dictator, and that in the months of his captivity by Promethea, he took a perverse pleasure in telling her all the details of what he'd done in his native timeline, the rangers he'd slaughtered, and more. Later, Saba, the sentient sword of the White Ranger, came by himself to execute the madman. But he failed, and Draken was accidentally freed. He took Saba and ripped his head off then used the remains of the weapon, along with some kind of incantation that he presumably learned from his dimension's Rita, to create a portal to escape the prison. Escaping the prison then, Draken made his way to where Ninjor was hiding and convinced him to repair his damaged Morpher, leaving the warrior unaware of what he had done. Then, sneaking into the command center, he stole the Chaos Green Crystal behind Billy and Trini's back. To refuel it, Draken ambushed Tommy and stabbed him through the back, but despite the arrival of Kimberly and the Time Force Pink Ranger Jen Scotts, Draken escaped, leaving Kimberly alone to grieve as Tommy seemingly died in her arms. Draken would then return to his world, reunited with his army, and had a heartfelt reunion with Finster V, while revealing that he had also captured Ninja. Despite Draken's defeat, his world wasn't affected at all, and the Coiners continued to fight to liberate the world. When the Hyperforce Rangers were drawn into his universe, they attempted to help out the rebellion against Draken's army. A returning Scorpina had no interest in allying with Draken, and planned to use Serpent Terror to destroy the West Coast. The Hyperforce Rangers' attempts to rescue the civilians trapped in New Tech City failed, and led the two to come face to face with a repowered Lord Draken. When Lord Draken arrives at their camp, he asks the Hyperforce Rangers to help him regain Serpent Terror from Scorpina. Naturally, they refuse to help him. He gives them two choices. Help him, or somebody dies. Naturally, they then come to realize that they are no match for him. Draken attaches an explosive collar to one of his captives to ensure the ranger's cooperation. Then on the way to Serpentera, the rangers try to formulate a plan on how to stop this. When they arrive at Serpentera, they then approach several guard towers stationed with Sabretooth and Mammoth sentries. Draken orders them to stand down, only for them to ignore him. In response, he destroys them. After fighting the sentries, they reach Scorpina, who makes small talk with Draken, only for her to then try and kill him. However, she ends up being taken down by Draken's Tyrannosaurus sentries and himself. While all this is going on, the Hyperforce Rangers plan their next move. During a fight inside Serpentera, Draken manages to grab Scorpina by her neck while one of the Rangers handcuffs her. Then Draken decides to betray the Hyperforce Rangers by removing Marv's Morpher at the exact moment that Scorpina, with her remaining strength, wraps herself around Draken with her legs. By doing so, Draken lets go of Marv, then falls back into Serpentera. When he reaches the cockpit of Serpentera, he drops an unconscious Scorpina and attacks Vespa, but was too late. Serpentera was on a collision course into the ocean. Before he could finish Vespa off, Eddie blindly teleports inside Serpentera with the intent of rescuing Vespa. Draken decides to attack both rangers, but Vespa jumps in front of Draken, who then uses Saba to attack them. As they are teleporting away, he manages to cut off Vespa's arm. As soon as the rangers were teleported off the Zord, Serpentera crashes. However, Lord Draken emerges unharmed from the crash. A Tyrannosaurus sentry later reports to Draken that the Serpentera Zord will be repaired and operational within a month. Despite the setback, Draken pushed forward with his plans, starting with invading the era of the Samurai Rangers. The ensuing battle saw all the Rangers except Lauren and Sheba defeated at Draken's hands. Capturing their Samurizers, Finster V was able to transfer some of their power to Draken, granting him a new form and a substantial power boost. Finster V then revealed that using more Morphers from the same type would be too dangerous. But thanks to the morphing grid separating all of the other teams away from the main timeline due to Draken's actions, there was now an entire multiverse for him to invade. He soon targeted five other universes. 
In the universe holding the Zeo Rangers, Draken captured that universe's Tommy and disguised himself as him around the time that they bid farewell to Jason following his time as the Gold Ranger. He became disgusted and enraged at how much the team worshipped that version of Tommy. He steals Adam's Zeonizer before murdering that era's version of himself. Then in the universe holding the B-Squad Rangers, Draken is overwhelmed and forced to retreat as he underestimated how strong that team was despite being rookies, barely escaping being trapped. Then in the universe holding the Space Rangers, Draken is able to board the Astro Megaship, taking over Decker and murdering Alpha 6. In his attack, he ambushes and launches TJ Johnson into space as the other Rangers are stuck inside. Moving on to the universe holding the Ninja Steel Rangers, Draken confronts Brody Romero and attempts to steal his Ninja Battle Morpher. However, Brody destroys it and damages his Ninja Star, leading to Draken to take a piece of it. As Zordon then tried to rally the other Ranger teams together, Draken and his armies not only assault the In Space, SPD, RPM, and Ninja Steel worlds again, but turn his attention to the worlds of the Lost Galaxy, Dino Rangers, Dino Charge Rangers, Lightspeed Rangers, and Jungle Fury Rangers at the very least capturing the Dinomorphers used by Connor McKnight, Ethan James and Dr. Oliver. However, all was not well with Draken as he still found himself so disturbed by the fact that the Zeo Rangers seemingly love their world's Tommy, still not seeing what made him so great. When news that the forces of Corinth were fighting back and had found a way to nullify the effects of the Dragon Cannons, Draken decided to power himself up further and lead the charge himself, aided by the A-Squad Rangers and the Psycho Rangers amongst others. This entire story is a Power Ranger fan's dream. The battle leads to him taking over Corinth, as Jason, Lauren and the Ranger operators are forced to abandon the city. As the Rangers start gathering their forces, Lord Draken murders Skull for his betrayal in rescuing Ninja before learning of the Ranger Slayer's location. Draken then contacts her, only to realise that she's been freed from her brainwashing, so he leaves her stranded in the past before going to power himself up again. As the Rangers of the Multiverse attack Draken's moon base, Draken has Saba enhanced using the shard of Brody's Ninja Star and the Morphers from other Tommies before attacking the Rangers. He's able to temporarily nullify a number of Rangers powers before Kimberly strikes him with the Dragon Dagger. Suddenly, he finds himself being weakened as he returns to his throne room to find Zordon, Kruger and Rita there, Rita using the green candle to steal his powers. Now remember that these are the main timeline versions of these characters. Rita had been swayed to help Zordon by him giving her the information that Draken had killed his world's version of her already. Yes, I know, this is getting a little confusing. Soon, Finster Five would ambush the trio and save Draken. But when he shares his concerns with his master about his desire to use all of the Morphers in his possession, Draken just murders him. Murders his only friend. He then hooks himself up to the device and fully empowers himself proving how truly evil he is. With his newfound powers, Draken enters the Morphing Grid and dispatches the Emissaries before finding and taking the heart of the Master, using it to destroy the multiverse and create a brand new world. In this world, Draken is a Superman-like god figure, with Zordon and Rita as his parents and Kruger as his dog. His city is protected by Jen and Lauren, Billy is a mechanic, Finster Five is his loyal butler, Zack and Trini are reporters, and Kimberly is a waitress. However, Draken soon finds himself being haunted by a spectre of sorts of Tommy, taunting him and telling him that he knows this world is wrong and that he's a pathetic man for creating it. This allows his grip on the world to weaken enough so that Tommy can resurrect himself and rescue the emissaries before rescuing his teammates. As Tommy gathers the team along with Jen and Lauren, Draken realises something is terribly wrong and confronts the Rangers lead into a titanic struggle that ends with Tommy grabbing the heart of the Master. The two get pulled inside the heart, battling briefly before Tommy defeats him, telling him that the reason he lost was because he couldn't stomach the idea that, in an entire multiverse of Tommies, he was the only one that chose to be evil. With Draken pulled away from the heart, his world began to fall apart. Tommy offered him a final chance to survive and come with them, but Draken refused, staying with his broken world as it collapsed around him presumably ending him once and for all. After the shattering, fragments of the grid's power were scattered through the universe. This unintentionally created the empowered. People with tremendous energy that could potentially use it for destruction. The blue emissary recruited Jason, Trini and Zack as the Omega Rangers to track down the empowered. 
Unfortunately, Kia, the fourth member of the Omega Rangers, caught a glimpse of Tommy Oliver, now the White Ranger, causing her to snap at the grid memory of Draken. Despite the Blue Emissary explaining Draken was the only anomaly of Tommy Oliver's in the multiverse, Kia had fallen too far into her own paranoia and deluded herself into thinking that the Rangers were trying to create a new Lord Draken, ultimately killing the Blue Emissary and vowing to exterminate the Power Rangers. Now, unbeknownst to all, Draken was not in fact dead. Instead, he was trapped in the void of his broken world. After some time, he encountered an unknown force, which was so terrifying to him that he desperately attempted to escape. He was ultimately successful by way of a mysterious bargain, which Draken was apparently unhappy with, and arrived back in the primary universe shortly after Tommy had become the White Ranger. His arrival was actually mistaken for a meteor, which the Rangers were sent to investigate. Visibly aged and unstable, he attacked the Rangers, actually managing to overpower several of them before being beaten down by Tommy and captured. Zordon chose to not immediately return Draken to his own world, as he was concerned that one so powerful could be an even bigger threat and decided him to hold him in a cell underneath the command center until they could learn more. Tommy refused to even speak to his alternate counterpart. It was later revealed that the mysterious entity that he had run into in the void was a demented being known as the Imperial, who, unlike Draken, believed not in remaking the universe in his image, but wiping planets clean of life and replacing it with his own form of life. When the Omega Rangers came to Earth to inform Zordon of what happened, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers confronted Draken to find out what the Imperial is and how to stop it, but he just brushed them off seeing as they had no bargaining power. Unfortunately for Zordon, the Omega Rangers kind of disagreed with his methods, and they decided to go against Zordon's wishes and steal Draken from his cell, which of course led Zordon to be very angry and declare them enemies of the Power Rangers. Draken would then become a prisoner of the Omega Rangers on their travels, being used for his knowledge on their common enemy. But they soon came across a group of what are essentially alien vampires that feed on energy rather than blood, named the Horrid. Draken seemingly betrays the Rangers instantly to save himself, but it is soon revealed that he was actually a double agent, actually attempting to help the Rangers. Though it seems to me that he was just playing both sides until he could see who was going to come out on top, and then he just chose the winning team. The Rangers then realize that they have accidentally returned to Draken's world. That is, at the time of writing this video, the latest thing that happened in Draken's story. It is being continued in the Power Rangers comics by Boom Studios, which we have covered every issue of so far on this channel. Feel free to check them out. Issue 4 will be out later this month. Okay guys, that is it for the story of Lord Draken. I really hope you enjoyed this one. As I have said before, he is my favourite Ranger villain ever and is a big part of what really brought me back to Power Rangers fandom. Awesome character. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what character you would like to see covered in a similar video next. Thank you all so much for watching, may the power protect you, and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.